Hi there, Trace. This is Brad Gilbert with the FX Market Insight for the 28th of March. All right, now we're sort of in the early stages of the Asian session. The Kiwi um, ANZ or uh, NBNZ business numbers have just come out. So let me just give you a quick run over that. Now the numbers, um, a little bit weaker than expected, but this, is a, this number has got a huge variance in it. Um, as in it's, it's, it can be, you know, 10 or 20, 30 points different. It's 0.8 or minus eight points, I should say, worse. And the own activity number is also a little bit weaker. So that supports the same move that we saw, you know, with the uh, RBNZ, not to get confused with the bank and the central bank, um, you know, pointing towards the next likely move down. Uh, this number has been weak for some time. I, I, just, I just don't know if it's going to run, but we do have a situation here on the charts where, you know what, a breakdown through this level really does open up. Well, it opens up and move straight away to 67.50. Um, and underneath that, you know, it should just drift. But I just, don't, I just don't know if it's going to have enough momentum on the back of those numbers to really push it lower. All right, so coming into uh, the main sort of components that you sort of need to be looking for, you know what, we've got really nice uh, trending markets at the moment. Okay, what I mean by that is we've got good trend lines across the board. Now, not all the currencies are moving. Euro and uh, Kiwi seem to be the two pairs that are sort of like short-term to medium-term trending down. The rest of the pairs are a little bit choppy, but we do have nice trend lines and a couple of pairs with good direction. Unfortunately, this dog just doesn't stop giving, the Brexit dog. Okay, so Theresa May's done her best. She's said she'd throw herself under the bus if they got it through. That's been knocked back. So Brexit continues to battle on. Uh, it's a bit of a thorn in the market side. Now, the good thing about um, what we're seeing at the moment is concentrating on Euro and Kiwi, you know, they're two central banks that have got a dovish outlook. So it makes very good sense to be concentrating on Euro and Kiwi and on the downside, right? This is starting to get, this is what I'm talking about, nice trending markets. You get, we've got good conditions. Um, the only other, so the left field part is, um, if I come back to it, the core market drivers, they are geopolitical and they can flip, you know, on a knife set. So, so when you think, you know, if this was normal market conditions, as in really nice, no geopolitical events, you'd just be getting short Euro and Kiwi and just sitting with it the whole time. But because of these geopolitical events and there's the US-China issue, which is sitting in the background somewhere, they can come around and turn these things around. So you need to keep an eye out for that. And it's not as easy as just getting short and sticking with it. All right. So with the uh, where's the focus from here? Well, we've got the US final GDP numbers. Now, this is, you know, one of the few major numbers or the US numbers coming out this week. So let's have a look at it. Now, the final numbers are processed a little bit more. So they are usually a little bit more accurate, which actually makes it even more important if there is variance in the numbers that it does move the US dollar. Now, this is going to be a bit of a heads up. The market's been starved of oxygen all week. So we do get the final GDP numbers. And don't forget, I think this is going to be a bigger event than the uh, Kiwi numbers just released. RBNZ Governor all speaking um, later in the, uh, in the day. And then you've also got, uh, let me start to come into Friday's numbers. And you've got the um, you know, UK GDP. Now that's probably going to be brushed aside because of the Brexit, ongoing Brexit stuff. But uh, I'm really looking forward to the CPI flash estimate out of the Eurozone. Now, this is a number you can hold positions through, so it's, it's pretty good. And then also the uh, Canadian GDP numbers. Now, they should be, well, they could be potentially very explosive, and you can hit those as soon as the numbers come out. So right at the moment, we've got, um, you know, pretty good conditions. We've got the Euro and Kiwi fundamentally and technically pointing down. They're the pairs to focus on, and just keep an eye on these... Uh, US numbers and the RBNZ governor speaking later today. That's the market insight for today. All the very best, guys. Cheerio.